there was some program happening, somebody else's program, I went there and they asked me for lunch and I went and sat down. I came in late, they were all eating and halfway down I went and sat down, you know, on the floor, in rows they're sitting. She… I was sitting in this row, there was another row in front of me facing me and one more row facing away from me and another row facing me, she's in that row. By then she was already looking at me, beyond these two rows. I just looked at her for two minutes and then I started eating my sambar and rice. Then everybody com started completing their meals before me because I came in late and I was eating late. Then she finished her meal, she washed her hands, she came and she sat in front of me and burst out crying. So I didn't look at her, I kept on eating. Then I got up, I went and washed my hands and she came behind me. And she was still crying and crying and crying. Then she wanted to talk to me. I just wrote my home number and I gave it. And I said, only if I pick up, you speak. My dad picks up, don't speak. <laughs>This west coast is so phosphorescent, the phosphorescence in some areas is so high, it is a full moon night and as the night gets darker and the, you know, the tides get bigger, it's like lit, like it's like waves of phosphorus coming at you. She just looked at this and he just got her. Then we mostly sat through the whole night just looking at this thing and after that, she went mad about the ocean. She wanted to go to the ocean all the time. Where you want to go? She wanted to go to the ocean. <laughs> she got addicted that night. <laughs> she did yoga only because it means something to me. She didn't do yoga for her health, she didn't do yoga for her well-being, she didn't care about her well-being. 
She did yoga only because it means something to me. I'm talking about it, so she was doing it. Any number of times she openly spoke about it to people. She wanted to do something that means something to me. <laughs> For Vijay, who is my wife, but most of the time she more existed as my child than my wife because she was like that. But still we had a very engaging and engrossed kind of relationship all the time. She was like my shadow all the time, twelve years she just was everywhere that I was. She organizes the yoga program, she goes around, works throughout the day, she does everything. All her life she was very proud that I am her husband. Today I have to say that I am extremely proud that I happen to be her husband. And above all, this is all the intensity that you look for in every disciple around you. As a guru, this is of immense value too because it is this level of intensity that you always look for. That's Vijay.